Today's workout is a 12 minute prenatal strength workout, no equipment, low impact, quick and easy. Let's get started with our first exercise. We're gonna take those feet wide, turn the toes out and arms extended. We're gonna do a sumo squat, reaching down toward the floor and pushing our knees out. Here we go, we've got 30 seconds, so down and lift. Pushing those knees out, reaching for the floor. If you can't touch the floor, no big deal. Just get as low as you can. We're gonna keep that chest up, hips back. So we've got good posture throughout. All right, we've got a 10 second rest. We're gonna do a sumo squat pulse. Same position, we're gonna stay in the bottom of that squat and pulse, 30 seconds. Let's go. Just breathe here. You don't have to go quite as low. You can stay up higher if you need to. You can go down further if you can. That makes it a little harder. Either way, you're gonna feel those legs burning. We wanna keep the chest up. Abs tight here, pushing those knees out. Staying strong. All right, moving to the end of our mat. We're gonna crawl forward into an inch firm plank. So feet under hips, abs tight, shoulders back, chest up. Bend those knees, hinge from the hips, crawl forward into a plank. You can stay down or drop the knees and then crawl back through that plank, stand all the way up. So I want you to push your hips back and hinge at the hips. That's gonna keep that work in your hips, out of your low back. And do the same thing when you're coming back up. Take it slow as you need to. Everything's timed so you can go at your own pace. Embrace your abs right here. Again, if you need to, you can put those knees down and then crawl right back up. Rest, move to a lateral lunge. We're gonna take those feet really wide, toes out slightly, chest up, reaching for the floor. We're gonna take it over to the right. You can touch the floor if you want to, or if you can't get that low, no big deal. We're just gonna keep those feet wide here, moving to the same side, and then we'll switch sides in the next 30 seconds. I'm gonna feel a nice stretch through those inner thighs as well. Rest, all right, we're gonna do the same thing. On the other side, 30 seconds. It's amazing how quickly you get out of breath when you're pregnant. Other side, especially for me, this pregnancy, it's my second, it's been a lot harder. I felt a lot more sick and I'm almost 17 weeks and I'm still not feeling that great. Crazy. But I don't know what we're having yet, so maybe it's, boy, we'll see soon. All right, keep going. Really pushing those hips back so we feel that open up the glutes. Rest, moving to the floor. We're gonna do a kneeling push-up. So take your hands about as wide as the mat or they can be a little bit wider. On your knees, shoulders over your wrists. We're gonna bring that chest down to elbow level. Push-up. Core is really strong here. If your belly prevents you from getting your chest to elbow level, that's okay. Just go as low as you can. And if this is too challenging here, bring your knees in closer and push up like this. That'll make it a little easier. If you feel like you can get up on your toes at this point, go for it. All right, rest. We're gonna move to a double pulse lunge. So come to your feet, feet underneath your hips, hands on your hips. We're gonna alternate legs here. So step back, give me two pulses, step in. Other leg. Knees to 90 degrees, front thigh is parallel to the floor. Your back knee should go straight down and your front knee should line up right over your ankle. You don't have to touch your back knee to the ground, but you can if it's light. We wanna keep that weight mostly in the front heel. That's gonna allow us to work that glute. Time, all right, moving on to the floor again for a shoulder tap. We're getting up and down a lot because I'm trying to give your arms a break, but if you need to, you can do these exercises in a row. So right arm, left shoulder, left arm, right shoulder. 
So you can see here, my knees are wider than my hips, and that's gonna help me stabilize as I lift one hand and tap. We wanna minimize that rocking, so we do that by bracing the core, again, by minimizing that hip movement, squeezing the glutes, and then keeping our body weight forward. So if we're back here, we're not really gonna get that work in the core, so we wanna be right about here. Time. All right, coming to our feet, we're gonna do a curtsy lunge. Right leg's gonna to step to the back corner, hands on your hips. Take it back, step in. So you can see my left foot's pointed straight ahead. My right foot's going to the back corner, like a curtsy. Front thigh is about parallel to the floor if you can get it that low. And that back knee goes almost to the floor. I'm pushing through my front heel, squeezing my glute as I stand up. It's gonna get into that meaty part of your glute, that side glute. Break, we're halfway there. We're gonna move to our sumo squat. Feet wide again, reaching down toward the floor, and then stand up. So now we're doing the other side for the other second set, other side of some of these exercises, like that curtsy lunge. If you can get lower this time, can you touch the floor? Chest up, one more. Nice, all right, back to that squat pulse. Again, if you can, this round we're gonna get lower. Let's do it. Breathe, send that energy, that oxygen to your muscles. Again, keeping that weight in your heels, chest up. Halfway there. Could be worse, we could be doing 50 seconds, which is what I do in my non-prenatal workouts. But pregnancy, we need a little bit of a break, but not much. Ah, okay, back to that inchworm plank. End of the bent. Again, we're gonna hinge from those hips, crawl forward, and then crawl back. Here we go. If you feel good, you can start to speed up if you want. No pressure, but you can go faster. It's all at your own pace, what you feel up for today. Nice, all right, lateral lunges. Feet come wide. Toes out slightly. Let's take it to the right, reaching toward the floor if you can. Stand up. Pushing those hips back, pushing that knee out over the toes, keeping that back nice and straight so the chest is lifted, core is braced. It's not about touching the floor necessarily, it's about getting deep into those legs. Time. All right, we're gonna switch to the other leg. Simple movements, but effective. Here we go, other side. Doesn't take much during pregnancy too to get your heart rate up. You don't have to do complicated things either to get strong. Some people think you gotta do a lot of weight, you gotta do really complex exercises, which is good and fine, but sometimes it's just the simple things done right that are really gonna transform you. And in pregnancy, that's especially important because we don't wanna do anything too crazy. We wanna keep our form really, really good, really strong to avoid injury. All right, moving back to that kneeling push-up. So hands about as wide as the mat or a little wider. Again, your knees can be back here or they can be here. Let's do it. And again, your legs can be together. You can take your knees a little wider than your hips. Whatever feels good to you. Again, keeping that core tight so we keep the lower back strong. All 
All right, on our feet, moving back to that double pulse lunge. Feet underneath the hips, hands on the hips. We're gonna alternate legs. Let's go. Two pulses, stepping in. Pushing through that front heel as you stand up, squeezing your glute. Nice. All right, back to the floor, shoulder taps. So knees a little wider than hips, hands under shoulders, body weight forward here. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Again, you can move as fast or as slow as you like, but I want you to try to minimize movement other than that arm that's lifting. So it means hips are stable. Try not to rock side to side. Really great one for your core here. We're doing a lot of moves that are good for our core because in pregnancy, it's harder to do things like crunches and planks and really those things can be more harmful than beneficial. But things like this are gonna get you really strong and keep your abs safe. All right, to our feet, last exercise. We're doing our curtsy lunges this time. Other leg goes back. So your left leg to the back corner. Taking that back knee almost to the floor. Front knee presses in line with those middle toes. Getting that side glute. Almost there, five seconds.